Boy, do we have fun new things to show. I said, so this will be fun. This is kind of a spur of the moment because my order came. This is from the new upcoming 2024, January to April. I think I have that right. Catalog and some celebration. Those of us that went to on stage virtually this weekend were able to pre-order some of the things. So this isn't the whole bit, but this is going to be some of it. So we just invite you to enjoy looking ahead at some cool things. Okay, we're going to start with Hello Vesta, first one on. Love it. Um, I, I didn't plan this real far ahead, and Tim hasn't seen any of these. He's been no. gone, so he just got home, so I said so we could do this now. Okay, I am in love with this. Lori Jean, wonderful. Okay, so we're going to look at some sweets first. This is Painted Lavender. I just, this is going to be so fun to work with. Mm -hmm. I just love those. And then there are dyes. Yeah, you have to fussy cut those, right? That's a joke. It's a joke because I did that <laughs> once. Remember, I, I was doing a, a live once. Yes. Do yeah. you remember that? It was really detailed. I was talking about fussy cutting and, <laughs> and someone commented, isn't there a dye for that? And yes, there was. <laughs> I totally and Yes. But I think that is gorgeous. And also, look at this. Love these new words, the styling. And look at this um, postage stamp on all kinds of sizes. Mm. This is just really very Ooh. cool. And that's the the, the cancellation. Yes. Stamp. And you can, uh, they were showing us on Saturday how you can just put this right in your ink pad and then in your paper. And it just gives us really huh. cool look. It also is just fun. I, these are different style of words. I love it when there's two styles here, but we've got, you mean the world to me. You're simply marvelous. Big hug, sending love and best wishes. Here for you always. You are love beyond measure. And then, of course, the paper. It's not complete. Look at this paper. This is amazing. And this is. So these is like. You're a color. Lavender. This is that. Well, yeah, lavender. lavender. Um, but all of the pages at Lavender, first I thought, and I love this. I, I just, and I love how it's put with these. Ooh, I um, love that crumb cake or whatever color this is look at this it looks like craft paper under that yeah isn't this just stunning nice. i think these are all just beautiful and then we bring in some other colors here this company and continues we have this. to amaze me i just love it and then these are the back sides so look at all the fun with these often the back sides are a little more muted so they are absolutely perfect for blending with okay i Cannot, I am just itching to work with this. This is just absolutely marvelous. Okay, that is the first one. Oh, somebody loves purple. I think it's fun because some people, oh, I forgot this. This is part of it too. Oh my goodness, can you imagine what we're going to do with these to make simple cards with all those? So, and I hope that stunning. person, I hope that person doesn't mind it being called lavender. Okay. And, instead of purple. And Tim, I keep, this is part of it too. Oh <laughs> I told him, he's just going to stack these in bundles. So we have plenty of lavender and purples. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Let's go for another sweet. I said that as a, oh, I love hearing that you guys love lavender. So I thought um, sometimes people, I hear people say they're not so fond of purples, but oh, how you could not love that. That is gorgeous. I love all colors. So it doesn't matter. It's just give me pretty papers and I just love them all. Okay. So here's another sweet. And this is, let's see what the name of this paper is. Oh, well, this is terrible. I don't remember what the sweet is, but we have two bundles with this. So we're going to look at this. This is really fun. This is lovely and sweet. The congratulations. So sorry. Just sending a bit of love your way. And look at these little things. So this is a perfect, if you kind of like um, collage -y kinds of things, this is going to be really fun. Oh, I, I didn't even realize how tiny, lots of tiny mm. little detailed things in here. Okay, this is going to be for those of you who love to putz. So that's wonderful. But then look at this. This will also go with it for all that collage kinds of stuff. And they showed us cool things with this. So this is actually wonderful. And I'm more, I'm not the biggest putzer. I'll do a few of these. So it'll be fun. But the other bigger ones are what so I love to do. And the paper. Sweet, you're talking about the other spelling of sweet. Sweets. You were talking that you can't find the sweets or I don't know. Never mind. Oh, oh, sweets like, yes, yeah. like the big sweets, like S-U-I-T. -S -U -I -T. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> Tim just astounds us with his, <laughs> with his commentary. <laughs> and then look at this foil paper. Confuses, not astounds. Uh, yeah, yes, could be. Uh, you know, this is gorgeous. You know, um, these papers alone. So 
I'm sure that die is going to fit right in there. Look at that, because that looks like the same size. Ooh, Ooh. cool. These papers alone are going to make amazing cards. Oh, I love the printed look with that. The splatter Ooh. of foil. These are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So these are the foil Ooh. size. Can you read something? Size. Well, if I turned it upside down, <laughs> if I turned it right side up. Uh, plentiful, it appears to plentiful. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. And then these are the back sides, which are are also beautiful with them and non-foiled. Oh, look how pretty. That'll just mm. make a card. Upside down. By itself. Yeah, I guess I have all of these. Oh, this one's, no, that one's not foiled. Uh, but look at how pretty these are. Oh my goodness. I love these. I pulled these apart, but I really hadn't looked at them yet. But these are going to be just great standalone or you can color them in. So that is so wonderful. Oh, I know. I love, you know, we ordered these off of a pre-order thing, but None of us have seen the catalog yet, just the PDF of it. And oh, seeing things I, in real life. I, I need agree. to say something. Mm -hmm. If you've been following us long enough, you know that upside down <laughs> is actually a way that we've done our. We used to do it that way. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Um, and then we have this hot air balloon. Um, I think uh, I, I love this little heart shape in here. And this is, oh, these colors. This is so springy. Look at these fun light pastel colors and then check out this paper i just love papers and you get four, i think it's six each of these this is a big stack you get a bunch of them but i just arranged them so we see all of them. uh so this i'm sure the die will fit this um also could be fussy cut yeah i'm sure the die yeah but look at how pretty that is and then we have all of these pastelli colors oh i just think this is so cool Oh, the interplay of all these. So the paper alone, only the one has the hot air balloon, which would be fun. All these others would be just great for anything. So even if you, uh, you know, it doesn't need to go. I love the paper that is just so versatile. Oh, just look at all this. Oh my goodness. All of these papers. Oh, beautiful and fun, fun colors. Oh, Evelyn says, yes, she'll be excited to get paper shares for is all that these. A heart? Yes, you're right. What, I will too. Yes, heart? this one's a heart. Um, and I was looking for it on the die. I think I on the die, it's a heart. Oh. Uh, and look at how this could be just used oh, yeah. as a heart. Because I thought I was really intrigued with this. And I was just actually, I cut one of these apart because I was working on a little card on something. And I was using just the heart part. And then I thought, oh, this will be fun to do Oops, these as hearts. Here. Yep, like that. And then put that in. So um, hearts as well as hot air balloons and all of you who go to the hot air balloon thing i think of you know what they have in new mexico new mexico arizona oh i guess it would be arizona. but all over here in wisconsin oh there are a lot of places with hot air balloon things so um a lot of people just share that with all right oh and this oh this goes with one of the others i think i forgot and this i think i know well i didn't think i know i forgot i think this went with that really elegant paper look at this it's like a suede it's like suede. Feel oh. that. And yet it's really easy to work with. Oh, my goodness. Doesn't that not feel like suede? Yeah. Ooh, that's going to go with that lovely paper. And easy to work with. Look at that. Okay. Moving along. There's no big piece of paper with it. They're all no, well, I'm done with that for right now. And oh, so fun to see you guys on here. Uh, yeah, it's hard to think spring colors, but I like them. As soon as the snow comes, I, I, I'm ready to work with spring colors. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I'm still in going bottom of it. Yeah, that last group really does. I, I agree, Nisa. She said it makes it think of um, birthday paper, and I agree. At, uh, okay, and then we have this. I think there will be a lot of beautiful things to do with this, layered florals. Okay, Tim, here is another set. I know you're going to love this because you love doing senior cards. So this Ooh. is one I'm going to have you work at that. Look at Hills of Tuscany. Yes. Is Ooh. that stunning? And look, we've got the little houses. Yep. And all the oh, and this could this is, has that kind of um, it's that distinctive, so it looks very watercolory look. Yep. Uh, I just can't thank you enough. Wishing you peace. Oh, that that really fits with this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. You're in my thoughts. So I love that. And the and, roof, roof of the house. Yeah, Ramona, you have a friend that has hot air balloons. Oh, how fun! So you do it up on. I've I've never been up on one. Have you, Tim? No. No. No, I never have. Okay, for you dog lovers or those of you who have friends that are dog lovers, here we go. This, what's really fun about this is we've got a whole lot of breeds Whoa. in here. 
And I could imagine if you're making a card for someone that has one of these particular breeds, you could color in just kind of spotlight that one. And I thought, isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. But I think that'll be fun. Now we have another two layer where you use the background. You flip the stamp over. It's the double, which I really love. And I planted paradise. Uh, I think we need to do, this is one stamp set I will take along when we go to mm -hmm. Arizona. It just reminds me in of Mexico, that in yes. New Mexico. Yeah, because yeah. I just it just has that feel to it. So, um, oh, some of you are naming your dogs that you found in the picture. Oh, I love it. <laughs> so that is so cool. Well, I was looking at our grand dogs, too. Oh, yeah. Did you see any of them? Well, I've, sometimes we'll have to ask them. Um, because oh, I don't know. But anyway, uh, kids are going to love cards like this, too, because you can kind of look for things and see what you find. <laughs> anyway, it's very fun. Standard oh, poodle. Okay, another really fun card is the ice cream swirl. Now, I know we've had ice cream cones before, but this is like a really large size and makes some gorgeous cards. So look at this die. And do you see how this die flips over and you Ooh. get a waffle cone? And it can be like a tag. So you can open it and do your tag inside. I mean, there are just a lot of cool things. Um, and this die can stand alone because you can do the swirls. You can make that just to put in, you know, but you're going to want all the details, of course. But I just love that there's going to be so much you can do for this. Now, what is that for? Is that just for a dish of ice cream? Uh, look on here and see if you see a matching thing. That's why I was asking. I don't. Oh, which which one? This one? Yeah. Oh, it's for the co uh, the paper you put around the cone. Okay. Yeah. Back when they hand you the cone. Yeah. And then we have the cherry and the donut. Oh, look at Ooh. little donuts. We could do donut cards. Mm -hmm. The donut looks kind of small compared to the ice cream cone. <laughs> they all make different cards, but I thought <laughs> that's cool. Yes. <laughs> oh, but this is so fun. And then, okay, these last two we're gonna kind of keep out because we have to enjoy it because there's celebration items that go with it. Look at the stippled roses, which and is beautiful. What does stippled mean? Did you see how it's got that little stippling in there? Oh, okay. So anything stippled like that is really fun to color in. She, she divines stipple by just calling it stippled. Yeah. <laughs> well, like if you have a stipple brush. What, what else did you go? Like pointillism, I guess I would maybe think. I don't know. But I thought, okay, this is really cool. And you're going to see the gorgeous paper. I love when Stampin' Up! does this. You would buy these, but then the, the paper stands alone or will go with this. And I love it when there's paper on celebration because we can always use more paper. So this is one that has a coordinating paper, and this is the other, and this is wonderful. This is going to be another super popular set. Dad. Look at these tools. Ooh. You're the most awesome. Thank you, Dad. Happy Father's Day. And look at all of this. Okay, now are you ready? And I am such a... Hey, you, you, you're guy. becoming a putzer, so maybe you'll maybe that would be a Kevin good thing. the tool man Titus. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this Ooh. paper. This is a free celebration item. Is this amazing? Look at that power drill. Ooh. Look at all these things that you and these a bunch of these have dies to go with them. The others you can fussy cut, but look at this paper. This is okay. There are two pieces in here that have different tools. Mm -hmm. So I, I got to show both of those because I just think that is amazing. Look at that assortment. So you can also Let specialize me. your card, do what somebody did for you. Okay. And then we're going to look at the rest of these. Well, I cannot wait to play with this. Screwdrivers. Yes. Yes. I thought, how fun. But I think for um, housewarming gifts too, you know, when you're giving like something from Menards or Home Depot or, or the hardware store, you know, how what cute cards these would make. Mm. For that so those are the front colors and then we have all this you know i love this kind of a subtle color right in here mm -hmm. okay these are amazing and they're pointing oh i love this too with the shadowing oh these are fun mm -hmm. uh they were pointing out that in here we have little in the dies we have these that there aren't stamp Oh, you know, there are snaps to go with that, but there's all these little fill-in things. So, and here's like a pegboard to put your tools on. So you can do a workbench. Uh, yeah, Lowe's or Home Depot for the win. Absolutely, gift cards. I, I just think that is really fun. I think it'd be fun to do a, 
Christmas card home builder like this. And so I'll put a Christmas bow on it and Merry, you know, and do the whole thing with the packaging if you're doing a gift card. But this is fun. So the paper you get free. And I love it because the paper also stands alone, but you can never have too much of this paper. <laughs> and then the stippled rose also has gorgeous paper. And so this is again what's in the catalog and you can buy. Tim's looking for places to set things. I'm in the middle of so many things here. Yes, yes. It is. I have things all over the floor. I hate to say it. Okay. So this is more stippling. I'm going to let him come back so he can see. Do you see what I mean by all these looks? Yep. Are they just beautiful? So it looks like it's a very soft. Uh, it's like the bristles on a brush. Oh, yeah. Like a stippling brush. That helps me. Yeah. Does that help? Oh, that's... It is just stunning. This is, all starts in January. Um, mm. And so catalogs will be going out. The new catalogs will be going out in December. Oh, that those, is gorgeous. Those colors of green. Oh, Beautiful. that is absolutely amazing. And as demonstrators, you know, one of the pluses about being a demonstrator is we always get things a month early. So in December, I can order other things in the catalog. So we'll have another unboxing. But this is what we could order from attending the one on live. Oh, look at this is going to be so pretty. And it's so pretty left. It looks like shades of grays. You know, mm -hmm. it'll be pretty colored or left as uh, left alone. And I just think that is so lovely. Oh, look at that soft little backgrounds. Ooh, really pretty. And then we have some backgrounds. I love it when the back sides are a little more subtle like this because you can just see using them with the papers. Ooh, I love that. that isn't that gorgeous? What color is that? Um, I'll look on the thing and it'll tell me it is Calypso Coral. And I believe it would go with like this. Do you see? Mm -hmm. oh, look at that. So it's that Calypso Coral. Ooh, I love the, mm -hmm. I love this too. The little style. It looks like linen. Yep, it does. Oh, these are going to be just beautiful. And you can see they pick the same colors, like that paper that you really loved is wild wheat. Let's see how this goes with it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just love Anyway, this is really exciting. And I'm just so thrilled that this is free. <laughs> and look at, uh, anyway, and then we have this one. Ooh. Yep. And then this with like, looks like a wall. Like yeah. uh, what they call it with rag or whatever. So gorgeous. Kim says she can see a lot of wedding or Mother's Day cards with the stippled roses. Absolutely. I can too. Do you have a favorite of these? And I'm not done. Do you have a favorite so far? My favorite paper might be the one at the end here. So I have to show. These are still more celebration. All of the things I've shown you so far are with a $50 order in January and February. You get to pick one of the free things. And this is a really cute stamp set. This watermelon fits in the new punch. Ooh. So it'll be really easy to make these cards. And then this one are is... Are these pieces of watermelon or do they yeah. look like pizza? Yeah. Uh, good yes, but you could change them easily yeah. to pizza. Yeah. So good point right there. And this would be like a pizza crust. But yeah, mm -hmm. I, I just... That's going to be wonderful. And then for a $100 order, this is a choice. And these are only some of the celebration choices. This is really pretty. So it's an embossing folder and softly sophisticated. And then I have to show you this paper that just might be my favorite ever. Ready? This is another $50 order again. <laughs> Whoa, birds. Birds. And this is stunning. And again, this paper just stands alone. I see... Um, Julie Heights is on here. I just saw her. Okay, this speaks birds. She's the chirpy, chirpy uh, card maker. Um, mm. <laughs> I always forget. These are stunning. And what I love about these, you mm. know, these could be done with circle punches, punches cut out, used individually. I can see all kinds of possibilities beyond fussy cutting, you know. <laughs> Look at how pretty that is. I, I, every single one of these is gorgeous. Um, anything Ooh. to do with spring scrapbooking. Yep. That is beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? These like go this way. Look how easy these would be to cut apart. Yep. And you've got a beautiful card right there. Okay. Look at this. Ooh. Okay. I, I will fussy cut these. These are just adorable. And then these are the backsides. I said, oh, I would love to, I will stock up on lots of this paper. This color combination, I agree, are so pretty. And they're like springy and refreshing. I'm going to tell you what the color combinations are. 
on this one because this is Ooh, see back. i just oh yep oh look at that isn't that fun and oh. this i just love these and this look at all these chances kind of a little bit like bird branches here oh listen to these colors no wonder we love it. it's got all these colors boho blue bubble bath calypso coral crumb cake daffodil delight Flirty Flamingo, Fresh Freesia, Garden Green, Lost Lagoon, Misty Moonlight, Pecan Pie, Soft Sea Foam. Oh my goodness, look at all those choices. They're all in here. Look at all of the amazing things that um, we can make with these. So absolutely, absolutely excited. So Tim, do you have a favorite? And I'd like you guys to vote for your favorite. What's your favorite here? Uh, what's the name of the paper with the birds? The name is Flight and Airy. Oh, that's fun, Flight. And airy. The birds are my the favorite. Birds. I was going to say the say, screwdrivers, but I think the birds. Yeah, I, I, I'm thinking the birds, and I love that purple one at the beginning too. But also, I, 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 love, I, I love a lot of this. So, based on your comments, it helps me figure out what to play with first. But this is so fun. So we'll see you guys on Thursday. Uh, we're making something kind of fun if you guys can guess what it is. And remember that sale that's going on today, which actually I just found out includes envelopes. So I guess that's what I need to order. Or stock up on envelopes. Envelopes. <laughs> okay. Tools. Oh, good. I'm going to um I am going to count up the responses and uh, we're gonna see what's most popular of what we showed today. Have fun. Let